Look what's arrived. It's time for another Timu art haul. And something really cool. I actually have my own Timu code. It's right here. And I've got an affiliate link down below if you want to get yourself some art supplies and save a little bit of money. So make sure you check that out if you're interested. There's one big item in here, but I honestly don't remember what the small things are. Oh, this is very full. It's so full that nothing's coming out easily, so I'm just going to have to grab each item one at a time. Oh, okay. This is a really cool first one. We've got this. This is a scrap paper set, and I think it's Monet based. Can't really remember. Well, that looks like Van Gogh, so I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Feels like a weird kind of card. So this is the first one. We've got, oh, that would be a lovely background, wouldn't it? There's some really lovely textures here. Oh, look at that. That's a little bit odd. I think this was like an art collection one. Oh, look at that one. I think that might be my favorite. You can really see the texture on the page. This is the exact same size and style as the one that I got in my art vlog haul, which I'll leave down below. I got like a space themed one and it was the same size, so I thought I'd go for that again. I think this is such a gorgeous size. What do we got next? Oh, okay. These are water brushes. These look really weird. Don't they look like gel pens? Almost, like the lids. Let's see what we got. Okay, so these four, they're big, aren't they? It does feel bigger than normal, which means they must hold like a lot. Small, medium, large, and a little flat brush. I think we've got a few stray hairs there that are gonna have to be cut off. But these were really cheap, and I was thinking about, oh. This is the gouache brush pen I made before. Yeah, that is smaller. I said that was smaller. This is the one that I made previously and it looks really messy, but honestly, this is really fun to use. It's just gouache ready to go. We've also got these two. That should hold a lot, I think. These will be really cool for gouache, I think, for flat ones. Honestly, if you see any of these water brushes, I think they're completely worth it. That's going to be so fun, filling these up with gouache in an art vlog. I think that's going to be really fun. Next, we've got the mysterious box. I think I know what this is. Just because they're always packaged in a very similar way. Yeah, this is washi tape. How do we open it? That's not... Oh, okay. Tape. <laughs> tape, tape. Oh, these are pretty. They're a vintage style, but I mean, that one is like a tape measure. These are so cool. Also, I really love these ones here. I think these ones are really pretty as well. There's some really cool muted colors here as well. I love the kind of neutral tones. I mean, I have both when it comes to washi tape and journaling, but I feel like this gives you a lot of different options for spreads rather than using really bright colors. This one's already out, so I need to show you. Okay, this is a slightly different kind of thing. And you might be questioning, why have you done this? Why have you got these? But you gotta bear with me. I mean, there's a lot more here than it looks. What was the amount? I'm sure there's like 120 or something in these. So, these are tiny little, tiny little squares of tissue paper. Like, literally tiny tiny little squares and is that it's quite translucent it's actually thicker than i thought it would be though it's not like super thin orange different purple pink so many different colors i'm never gonna get that back in the bag these are the colors that we've got there's actually quite a lot of different ones and i really love the pastel shades especially the pink oh that's lovely these are really affordable too so my idea is i mean journaling <laughs> these are for journaling these are also for the Daily Doodle Diary. It's a challenge I'm taking part in where I'm drawing every single day. And because the paper is really thin, stuff transfers, stuff bleeds through the page, and I need to stick things down on the other side. And I know that these are like really thin, but I could do a proper collage with papers and tissue paper, and I think that could be really lovely. Is the other one, I presume the other one is gonna be the same colors because that one has so many colors in. Yeah, they're identical, but that's like a lot of paper. It's gonna be really cool. Well, what do we have next? Oh, okay, these are tiny, right. These are, 
tiny, I don't think they'd be this small, but they're tiny little stickers. This, I got these from my partner really. You might be able to tell that they don't really match my theme, my style. They're kind of like mythical creatures. They don't really match my theme, but I think my partner's gonna love them. They might need to be tidied up a little bit. You can see all the kind of frayed edges. Oh, these are really cool. That one's upside down. These are upside down. If you watched that art vlog art haul video where I shopped for my partner, you'll know that it's a very different kind of color palette and theme than what I go for. But some of them I've really loved experimenting with. I have used some of them in my pieces. Oh, this is a big one. What do we have? Oh, ah, uh, yes, this is a lovely size. Okay, this. This is a sketchbook and I wasn't sure with the sizing if it would be really tiny. I think it's smaller than A5 but it looks quite wide actually so maybe it's a little bit wider. How gorgeous is this? Wow. So the reason I went for this is because firstly it was really cheap and I thought I'd give it a try. And secondly... Oh yeah, it's not going to go very flat is it? I don't really thought that through but I guess if we just use like one side and then ignore that for now it's really pretty and i've never tried tan paper before i wanted to try either using color pencils or i also wanted to try gouache that was what i wanted to give it a go on and i know it's quite thin it's just craft paper so gouache might not go very well but i mean gouache is quite hardy so it might work Ah, oh, this is really cool. This is a proper sketchbook as well. The front is gorgeous. I really am gonna have to keep that lovely and not get anything on it because like, let me show you the details. How stunning is that for a cover? And it continues on the back. That is gorgeous and the side, oh. All the prices and links are below in the description box, but I'm sure this wasn't very expensive at all. And honestly, like, that is the most beautiful sketchbook I've ever owned. I love it. Let's see what we've got next. Oh. Oh. Um, let me just grab something. These are, you know those multicolored pencils that went viral, like, six months ago? And I... I'm really late to the trend, but that's what these are. They are cheap, and you do get a lot, so I'm not saying that they're gonna be super pigmented, but I kind of thought that I would just like give it a go. Let's give it a try. The pencil's at a little bit of a weird angle, but let's give this a try. Ooh! Wait, how do I get that one? <laughs> okay, it's a little bit difficult to twist, but I think that might be because the pencil's not very sharp. It kind of went a little bit odd, but you can kind of get very specific colours as well if you aim at a certain angle. I don't think we need to write what this is, I think we know what this pencil is. It's a super ugly swatch, I'm sorry. I tried to twist it as much as I possibly could, but it just was not happening. Let's see what's next. Oh, I have wanted these for so long. Okay, these are stamp stickers. I kept removing them from my basket because like on one hand, I mean, these were like a pound something. But on the other hand, like everything on Timu is so cheap that there's so many things you could do. And if you use the logic of like, oh, well, this is only a pound, this is only two pound, I might as well get it. You're gonna have bought the entire shop. You're literally gonna have spent so much money because everything is like that. These have come off a little bit better than the ones I got previously. These are matte. Oh, they're so pretty. They do repeat after a certain point, or the other ones do at least. So everything up here is a different sticker. It's a different design. So I mean, that is a lot before it starts repeating. Yay, I'm so happy I finally got these. Definitely worth waiting six months for. We still haven't found the big item yet. Ooh, we've got a box. What else did I order? I literally can't remember what I ordered. <gasps> yes! All right, okay, this is kind of dumb. We ordered scissors, craft scissors. My partner's really getting into journaling and he asked if I have any of these scissors that create the designs, but they've got 
the design on the side so you can easily see what's what. Let's give them a try. How are we going to do this? Oh, oh, that is awesome. Do you see that? That is so cool. <laughs> this is going to be really weird in my sketchbook, I'm not going to lie. I feel like this already might be a bit of a disaster. Let me show you up close. I feel like the camera isn't really doing them justice. Honestly, like these are really, really cool. It's a bit messy, but I like it. That was an awesome find. What's next? I honestly can't remember. I mean, evidently, I didn't remember anything from this haul. Apart from the stamps. Um, oh, okay. Another thing I did not remember. You might be sensing a little bit of a theme. It's such a random theme for me to be into as well. Oh, it's a little book cosmic record. Oh, how adorable is this? Okay, it's a little book with little space themed pieces, planets. Oh, okay, so there are just the odd kind of translucent one as you go along. That's really cool. Yes, that's so cute that it's like a little book as well. That's adorable. I think we might be saving the biggest item for last, you know because it's still not come. This is slightly different to what I'd normally go for. I picked up these, which obviously we don't know how good pens are because it's hard to tell at the beginning. You might use them a few times and then they literally run out of ink like a week later. Where they have a really flexible nib so you're able to write with them and it looks really pretty. I don't have any like that. I don't have any that are able to do that. So I really wanted to just give these a try. So let's do that, let's give them a go. It's not the most flexible nib. It's not as flexible as I kind of thought it would be, but I think you could do a little bit of calligraphy. But I think it's so that then when you go like that, you can kind of go like there. Oh, yeah, that one's okay, actually. Okay, so this is the medium. Oh, this is the brush one. Oh yeah, that's a bit more flexible, isn't it? So really thin lines. I think it's more the fact that when you're going, you can kind of angle it so it's like that. This one is... that's how thin it goes. This one is really small. Yeah, you can get different lines if you know what you're doing. I think these are going to be really fun for drawing, honestly. I hope they're going to last. It looks like it dried up a little bit there. Next we've got... Okay, here it is. This is the big one and there's still more in the bag. These are water brush markers. They look very similar to something else that I'm sure we've all seen. The reason I wanted to try these is because, I mean, firstly, it's a 24 color set, but the individual pens that you can get elsewhere are like £3.70 each. And this set of 24 was £6.99. So literally, you're getting 24 pens for the price of like one and a half of the other ones. So I really wanted to try these. So I think we're gonna have to give these a swatch just to see what they're like. Yeah, let's do that. Now for the moment of truth, are these actually gonna be water-based? It's not looking super water-based to me. Oh, okay, that's interesting. The other side is literally a fine liner. So you're actually getting a fine liner instead of a bullet nib. They don't have names, so I'm gonna have to give them names. This one is black. This one, I presume, is brown. Oh, that is really lovely. I think a brush marker and a fine liner is probably actually my ideal. I'm gonna quickly go through and do the rest now. Okay, this is the first one that I found that feels slightly different. It has no flexibility in the nib, it's just still. But honestly, I'm really impressed with these. I don't think the colours are very different from the lids either. Yeah, this one is the same. The nib is very stiff. It just, it doesn't move, you can see that. I mean, it might loosen up over time, but it's just something to note. 
This is what all of the colors look like. I've had to make up my own names for them. This is the first side. I mean, look at that. There's no streakiness whatsoever in the flat wash. And then the second side has some really lovely cool tones, especially these pinks. Obviously, only time will tell, and I'll keep you updated on how they're faring in the months to come. Honestly, this is looking like a pretty cool haul, and we've still got a few more things in here. Oh, okay. This is slightly different as well. I feel like I really pushed myself in this haul and picked up some really different things. Stickers? bag in a bag a team of classic i've never had clear stickers like this before i've got the prices down below but it was 100 sheets of paper i mean you can see the perforation i'm presuming they come off absolutely fine they come off absolutely fine they're kind of a different style to some of the stuff that i do even like these little ones they're just so cute and i don't have any clear stickers like this just really simple ones there's so many i'll bring it a little bit closer there's so many different designs here and these are adorable a lot of beachy things here which could be really cool for my beach bullet journal setup that will be coming out in the summer okay quickly i think we're in the upside down section now they're all themed like they do have themes i'm pretty sure there's no Whoops. I'm pretty sure there's no repeating stickers in here either, like every single page is separate. That's so cool. I did drop them, but that's really cool. 100 sheets just like this, where there's a perforation, the stickers are ready to be taken out, and there's no repeating stickers. I just think that's such a good deal. Ooh, oh, these are big. All right. These might be the biggest papers I've got yet. These papers are alchemy themed and I mean it's a little bit blurry but that's because it's like so big. These are huge, like these are like A5. Ah, oh, okay so they're all different. I mean they're very big, they're almost a little bit too big just because they are a tiny bit blurry. I don't know if you can tell, like compared to my nail, it, it, it's a little bit blurry. But honestly these are the biggest papers I've got yet. So I don't see the point in cutting them up because they are huge, make the most of them. Okay, I think we're on the final item now. We've got, these are stickers, and I wasn't really sure whether or not to get these. It's 100 stickers, which might be a little bit overboard. Clear, hollow butterflies. They're really simple, but I feel like in a journal or sketchbook spread, you could just stick these over something in a corner or just on top of papers, and I feel like these would be really cool. They are like, shiny and hollow and crystal you can see oh that one's a moth so i got little butterfly stickers even more than i've already got this is everything i picked up from my third timu haul if you want to see any of the others they are down below we picked up some really cool items this time and honestly i think my favorite might be the moon stickers that i've waited so long to get but i also love the sketchbook i can't wait to do little sketchbook sessions in here which will be coming to the channel also we're going to be giving these markers a proper try seeing if they're actually good in the next bullet journal setup so make sure you don't miss that one if you like any of these items and want to check out Timu yourself, make sure you check the links down below. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more art hauls, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you on Sunday for a new video. Bye bye.